All nations are now rushing toward the conclusion foretold to occur in the last days. Humanity plunges ahead, blind, pleasure-crazed, and largely detached from important world events occurring daily. American, British, Canadian, and other Western leaders would take action if they only knew what lies ahead. Great prophetic truths revealing amazing, truly astonishing climactic changes to stagger all civilization go unrecognized. In fact, the entire world remains in ignorance. Why? You can learn what vast millions have not understood. The World to Come. The Restored Church of God presents David C. Pack. Everyone wants to know what the future holds. So many are confused, not knowing where to turn for answers to the great questions about the future. Many have opinions, but few recognize how to find the answers. Others think they already understand the prophecies of the Bible. They are wrong about what is life-changing knowledge. Awe-inspiring prophecies recorded long ago have been fulfilled. Others are now coming to pass. Still others are yet to occur. These involve the greatest nations in the history of the world and are part of a divine purpose far beyond the imagination of the world's most brilliant minds. About one-third of the Bible is prophecy, history written in advance. Over 80% of this future history is yet to be fulfilled. Tragically, most Bible readers are completely unaware of awesome, impending world events soon to shock all nations, focusing first on the greatest nations. Vast sections of Scripture are hidden from them. Thus, most simply have no idea what the future holds. Even those who are interested in learning remain tangled in a Gordian knot of disjointed, confusing, competing popular ideas and opinions. This need not be you. God intended these great nation's prophecies be understood, or He would not have recorded them. They involve events no man could carry out, but God can, and their fulfillment does not hinge on the thinking or agreement of human beings. God's word is sure, and all would do well to take heed, to pay attention to what God makes known. The most educated, prosperous, and influential civilizations have all come and gone with no exceptions. The pattern of history is that Rome, Egypt, Babylon, Greece, Persia, and other powerful, developed empires rose to dizzying heights before crumbling and final collapse. Will America's and Britain's future be the same? Everything is at stake for the Anglo-Saxon peoples, literally. Cataclysmic prophecies must yet be fulfilled, and these will soon begin to crash upon unsuspecting populations. You can, indeed you must, understand all that lies ahead for hundreds of millions. The ultimate future of the American and British peoples is astounding, with their greatest period of prosperity and world influence yet ahead. But this time will not come as leaders, planners, and thinkers believe. What precedes it is totally unexpected. The Bible is a jigsaw puzzle, and it must be permitted to interpret itself. Most have never heard this. When related Bible passages are assembled in clear and concise form, the prophecies about America and Britain and certain other Western countries are not difficult to understand. In fact, you will wonder why so few have been able to comprehend them. God has left a plain message in His Word, a clear path for those willing to read and understand and willing to accept blunt warnings impossible to misunderstand. Suppose you could know the direction and conclusion of world events, world history, in advance of the outcome. What if you could know the courses of nations before they happen? What if the future of great nations, indeed the greatest in all history, could be known? In other words, imagine knowing tomorrow's biggest headlines before they come to pass and how events will affect you and every human being personally. 
Again, the governments of the West do not know the world-shattering changes just over the horizon for the United States, Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and certain Western European nations with the Middle East at the center of the coming explosion of events. But again, you can know. Turmoil, fear, and confusion now grip the nations of the West. Terrorism, resultant economic upheaval, rising prices, and widespread uncertainty have left people confused, not knowing where to turn for answers to the great questions about the future. Now on the minds of millions. Many sense that the differences both between and within nations are intensifying, threatening to spin out of control. New and different power blocks are forming, with traditional alliances wavering, waning, or disappearing. Ominous signs of grave difficulty in resolving humanity's most fundamental problems are everywhere. Many sense the world is hurtling toward terrible trouble, even absolute calamity. Disease, famine, and war sweep the planet as never before. New diseases are continually appearing and old ones are reappearing worse than ever. This and famine, which always follows in the wake of war, are decimating entire segments of local populations. Weapons of mass destruction, so incomprehensibly destructive that they boggle the mind, now threaten humanity as never before. Many nations have learned to live on alert to terrorist cells which can strike anywhere without notice. World conditions events and trends speak daily in frightening terms about how things could quickly turn in the wrong direction. The courses of nations, indeed the greatest nations, hang in the balance. History shows that all the great civilizations eventually crashed, having become decadent, awash in material prosperity and greed, and educated in wrong knowledge. This can happen again. Of course, many are unfazed, not concerned about the tumultuous events surrounding them, trusting things will work out in the end because they always do. Believing things will eventually turn out all right, these close their eyes, choosing to pursue pleasure and accumulation of material goods at a frantic pace. But for the short term, things will not turn out all right. World conditions are and will become infinitely more serious than most realize. At the same time, regarding just the physical location of nations, Generation X and now the much worse Generation Millennium reflect an appalling ignorance of the most basic geography and a nearly total lack of knowledge about even the most rudimentary understanding of relationships between countries, with studies now revealing that most people ages 18 to 24 cannot even locate them on a map. Against the backdrop of growing fear mixed with confusion, many wonder and are openly asking about America and Britain's role in the prophecies foretold in the Bible to occur in the last days. Recognizing their rise to extraordinary prominence, having become so big and dominant that their impact on the world is enormous, people naturally wonder, what about the United States and Britain? Surely among the Bible's great prophecies, God would not ignore them. Are they mentioned in prophecy? If so, where? And will these nations be exceptions to the collapse of all the great civilizations that preceded them? Not knowing who or what to believe, some ask their ministers and find they do not know. Others turn to so-called prophecy experts. Psychic seers, crystal ball gazers, and self-described prophets and other experts, but find none of these know either. Truly, the educated of this world, but uneducated in basic right spiritual knowledge, commentators, columnists, generals, scientists, and educators have absolutely no idea how to answer this question. Deceived and having closed their minds, many at least do recognize this is beyond their field. Here is a vitally important book, America and Britain in Prophecy. It provides answers and a powerful warning no one else is telling you. 
You need to read it, all of it. It will change your thinking forever. Only about 200 years ago, America and the British Commonwealth of Nations suddenly shot to great prominence and power. Not so long ago, the combined wealth of these nations was over 70% of the total wealth and physical resources of the world. All the rest of the nations combined possessed less than 30%. Of Britain, it was said, the sun never sets on the British Empire. Yet, right on schedule, Britain declined to an almost third-rate power. Now consider, virtually all of Bible prophecy has to do with world trends and events for our time. How then could the mightiest nations of all time be left unmentioned? Religious leaders explain that America, Britain, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand are merely Gentile nations, thus believing that end-time prophecy totally disregards these great countries. Deceived, they usually focus on prophecies describing the Jews, totally unaware of enormous understanding available about the identity of the peoples of the West. These leaders simply do not know where, how, or what to look for. Thus, answers remain elusive. Knowing something is terribly wrong, many sense the world has reached what the Bible calls the end time or last days. This has caused a mushrooming of interest in biblical prophecy. Millions of people now routinely discuss terms such as Antichrist, Great Tribulation, Millennium, Armageddon, the Beast, False Prophet, God's Wrath, Abomination of Desolation, and others, without proper meaning or comprehension. Again, they simply do not know where or how to look within God's Word to get correct understanding of what these and other terms mean and how they will play out sequentially within God's incredible master plan for the end of the age. Like a kind of prophetic Rubik's Cube, the many critical pieces of the puzzle never come together. This is because instead of directly examining the hundreds of clear scriptures on these and other prophecies for proof, 1 Thessalonians 5.21, many seem content to trust in human interpretations. Thus, confusion and disagreement about how to solve this great Rubik's Cube have mushroomed. We offer a tremendous amount of truth about Bible prophecy. It is all found on our websites. Most students of Bible prophecy remain in near total ignorance of its meaning, unable to recognize the speed, sequence, seriousness, and awesome magnitude of onrushing events. They just cannot untangle the maze of what happens when, as well as where and to whom, never mind why. For those who wish to have a fuller grasp of prophecy, read the booklet, Revelation Explained at Last. The Bible is close to 750,000 words. This means about 250,000 are devoted to many, many prophecies. Now ask, what possible purpose would God have for devoting a third of His words to a subject, any subject, and then leave mankind in the dark about it? God gives prophecy for two clear reasons. One, as a warning for those who will take heed, and two, proof of the existence of the God of the Bible and therefore the authority of the Bible. This broadcast introduces the plain truth of final events prophesied to soon strike an unsuspecting world in general and the United States and Britain in particular. Any study of prophecy must begin with the proper definition of what it is. Most lack even this most basic knowledge. The world to come will continue after this brief message. Discover more from David C. Pack. Visit our website, worldtocome.org. See the World to Come broadcasts. Read and order books, booklets, and articles, all free of charge. To continue learning about the topics covered in this broadcast, visit worldtocome.org today. Now back to David C. Pack. 
Bible prophecy is the inspired divine revelation or foretelling of historical events written in advance of those events pertaining to the unfolding of God's plan for mankind. A shorter definition is simply foretelling the future. The Apostle Peter wrote this about how God intends that prophecy illuminate the understanding of those who study it. He recorded, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place. God's purpose regarding his sure word of prophecy is that people take heed. You must be willing to take heed to what is written. Now continue. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. This is crucial to understand. No single verse or even any two or three passages is sufficient to bring correct prophetic understanding. God says his word is written precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. One must know how to put many related verses together to get the full picture. Continue again in 2 Peter 1. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. In short, prophecy comes from God through his servants as he inspires them to record his words. God alone can fulfill prophecy. No human being has even the knowledge of what are world-shattering future events, let alone the power to bring them to pass centuries or even millennia beyond his lifetime. In Isaiah 41, God challenges all would-be prophets of this world to try to do what only he can do. In Isaiah 48, God says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. I have even from the beginning declared it to you. Before it came to pass, I showed it to you. The Moffat translation reads, What has occurred I foretold long ago. It fell from my lips, I predicted it, then suddenly I acted, it was done. What God purposes will happen. If he tells us something, anything is to occur, it will occur. Isaiah 46 states, I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Strong words and all skeptics should heed them. God gives this sure promise of what will happen in advance of events he intends to fulfill. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. God keeps his promises. He always reveals major events before they occur. Understand, Almighty God will soon have to intervene and save humanity from itself. But before this occurs, world trouble will greatly increase, intensifying to staggering proportions. This will be followed by unexpected and cataclysmic events that will shake the whole world. Civilization as we know it will change forever. The book of Revelation opens showing God's intent is to reveal to his servants what lies ahead for all nations. It is for all who will heed his words. Notice, the revelation, meaning a revealing of Jesus Christ, not the apostle John, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, signified unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he that reads and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Obviously, none can keep the great prophecies of Revelation or any others unless they understand them. Therefore, God must provide the necessary keys to grasp all that lies ahead. 
we will examine these keys. Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21 are parallel accounts of what is called the Olivet Prophecy. It puts in sequence events that transcend the entire period from Christ's first coming until his return almost 2,000 years later. Most have not understood the events of this prophecy because they do not know the keys to unlocking it, and they do not understand that Christ spoke it privately only to his disciples, his servants. This must be understood because it identifies who are and are not able to understand what lies ahead for the world. Matthew uses the most detail, so we will look there, where the prophecy picks up. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him, Jesus, privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of your coming and of the end of the world, or age? Christ then lists a whole series of events which occur sequentially until just before his return. He concludes referring to Daniel the prophet and whoso reads, let him understand. Of course, most today do not and will not understand the shocking crush of events soon to smash into civilization. Here is why. God's servants obey him, Acts 5.32. Understanding flows directly from obedience to God. Notice, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. All who yield themselves in obedience to God will be able to understand all prophecies to be fulfilled in the last days. Almost everyone in professing Christianity refuses to obey God, rejecting his authority over them and remains blind as a result. No amount of trying to understand will unlock God's purpose to those who will not keep his law. This is the great first key to grasping the meaning of major prophecies for America and Britain. They are intended for and will only be understood by God's true people. All others will remain in confusion. There is a crucial second key that must be identified and understood by all seeking to grasp God's end-time purpose. Without it, nations have remained in total blindness regarding even the question of human survival on planet Earth. Of course, cynics and skeptics dismiss all the prophecies of the Old Testament as dusty, antiquated old Hebrew literature and poetry of no use to us today. They will soon learn how terribly wrong they have been. Now note this second key well, for almost none have understood it. All the major prophecies of the Bible have been sealed until the time of the end, the last days. You do not need to take my word for it. Daniel foretells a time, now here, when knowledge shall increase, including the incredibly compelling and electrifying story of what God plans to do in our time. Daniel's message had no application for his own time. The book of Daniel spans a period of over 2,500 years of events, then all yet to be fulfilled. Generations of Bible students, unwilling to believe God, have attempted to interpret Daniel's prophecy. All have failed, resulting in endless disagreement and confusion. An angel instructs Daniel, near the last verses of his book, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Not grasping what was told him, Daniel sought to understand. I heard, he says, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? The angel repeated, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, get that, but the wise shall understand. Let me reiterate that God says obedience brings understanding. No wonder Daniel said that none of the wicked shall understand. Any who rebel against God's law, regardless of how they see themselves, fall into this category. No one with eyes to see could possibly doubt we are in the end time. 
God's promise was always to unseal the prophecy when this time arrived. Of course, we now live in what is called the information age. No one doubts that knowledge has been increased in a general way, and this has been extraordinary. But the primary meaning must be understood in context with the knowledge of the prophecy's true meaning being revealed at the end. So the second vital key to properly understand Bible prophecy is that all previous generations of even God's true servants had no chance to understand events described in this book or other biblical passages. This broadcast has only laid the foundation for all there is to learn about America and Britain in Bible prophecy. A master lock has padlocked the source, revealing where civilization is going. Until the 20th century, the key to this lock had been lost. Have you ever lost your keys? The world, like you, has been literally lost without them. Unlike you, the world has not been shown where to look. This great master key has been found. The identity of America and Britain and what is foretold to happen to these countries just before Christ's return is the most important single key unlocking the over 80% of prophecy yet to be fulfilled. Again, I urge you most strongly, read this vitally important book, America and Britain in Prophecy. You will be shocked at what you learn. It reveals the incredible unknown history of the nations of the West and their connection to the lost tribes of Israel, the identity of these tribes in modern times, why they were lost to history, how God fulfilled His promise to Abraham, and how it relates to the rise of America and Britain. It introduces the terrible bad news, but then the awe-inspiring good news of what lies ahead for these great nations. Read this book. Until next time, this is David C. Pack saying goodbye, friends. This program was made available by Restored Church of God members and donors from around the globe. Explore our vast library of literature and other world-to-come programs, which are all made available free of charge. To order literature featured in this program, call toll-free 1-855-828-4646. One eight five five eight two eight four six four six.